Okay, let's actually make a move and let's make it C4. Okay, I was worried that my opponent would disconnect. I was setting up the recording software. But hopefully, we are back now, man. I think my computer issues are fixed. And we can go about recording video. So, what we got here is a standard game, 15 minutes each. And the fact that this is a premium user should... I'm gonna go for D4. Yeah, the fact that he is a premium user uh, probably means that he won't be cheating, which is always an issue in standard games, unfortunately, online. At the higher levels and, well, at many levels. But okay, um, he wants to go for the Slav. That's why he plays C6. Wants to play D5 next move. And Knight F3 is the most common move. I will just go for that. And in so d5 is the logical move here, and that's the very solid Slav defense. And I haven't played uh, main line openings for white uh, in d4 for quite some time. So I'm wondering what I should play here. Queen c2 is sort of the lazy move, I guess, but uh, thinking about going for something like that to avoid a theory, but then I change my mind. And let's just see what happens. Let's see three. Now you can play e6 which is the Semislav, or D takes C4, which is sort of a more normal looking Slav, Bishop F5 now? I thought there was some sort of C takes D5 and Queen B3 um, type of options here. I'll just go for that. In case of knight takes d5, then he has sort of surrendered his uh, central control, so he has to do this. But now I think I play queen b3. And if he uses his queen to protect the b7 pawn, then the uh, d5 pawn will be hanging. I'm not sure how he uh, he plays here. Okay, I didn't really know the theory. I only knew that e6 and d takes c4 are the uh, most common moves. And then from that I can sort of try to figure out that there might be something wrong with bishop f5 since it's not one of the more common moves. And... Yeah, in fact, in many of these Slav type openings, you have to be careful with Bishop f5 too early. You can sometimes do it against Knight f3, but, but against Knight c3, there's going to be pressure on d5 and b7, and that can be tricky. Here, best move might even be Bishop c8. e6, so he's just going to sacrifice the pawn. Uh, I see no reason why I shouldn't take it. Okay, I will fall perhaps slightly behind in development. But it doesn't look like it should be anything serious. And on knight d7, 
I mean, he'd, he'd like to develop it to c6, but of course that's not possible. So he has to go knight d7, and then I can go bishop f4. And from f4 we're uh, controlling b8. Which means he can't kick our queen with a rook. So she <laughs> actually... Very little to no compensation. For black because of this if I can maintain the queen there it's gonna be really hard for him to get activity and the main reason for sacrificing a pawn there would be to get activity and it seems to me that if he tries to kick my bishop I'll put it here if he tries to kick it off the diagonal with knight to h5 this move here and I should be able to put my bishop here on c7 and exchange queens and once we exchange queens, then uh, not much left for him to play for, really. He's just going to be down the pawn, and he has to fight for the draw. But nonetheless, this is what, what he goes for. Mm. Do I have some other options, like knight b5? Maybe I was too quick on my last move. And knight b5 was an option. Is it an option now? Perhaps. Knight b5, knight takes f4. I can play knight c7 even. I'll be a little bit worried about bishop b4 check in some cases. But let's see. Let's see, knight b5, let's say knight takes f4, I play knight c7, and king e7, and uh, I take on a8. Seems like my knight is getting out as well. Um, I mean, bishop c7 is the safe option, obviously. Okay, if knight b5, can you simply play rook c8? No, then I have bishop c7. Uh -huh. Knight b5, bishop b4, and then I play bishop d2 perhaps. Bishop takes, knight takes. And there's no rook c8 because knight d6. But then he can castle. And then rook b8 becomes a threat. So let's check again. Knight here, bishop b4. <clears throat> be slightly careful. Mm. Actually, thinking also about options such as e4 and bishop b5. E4, knight takes f4, bishop b5 perhaps, I'm done piece, then it's rook b8, it's a bit risky, bishop takes d7, king e7, probably a bit too risky, so e4, yeah, knight takes f4, I can take on f5, but still, there's rook b8, and things are maybe not as clear as I would like them to be. Yeah, knight b5, bishop b4. He can just uh, take and castle, and yeah, I have to go for this, I guess, sobering, sobering option. I don't see anything other than. Queen g8, but maybe queen c6 is an option here. I 
Everything is still pinned for him. Bishop d6, I take. Rook b8. 95. So like queen here. Bishop b7, 95. Still can't castle. G4 is a threat. I think I'll keep the queens on. I think I'll do that. Hmm. I mean, there's some slight risk involved if you place like a6 or a5 with the idea rook a7. But I think 95 is sufficient there to, to save the day. Still have issues with my king and my development that I am up upon, and black also hasn't finished his development and does have some funky looking pieces himself. Uh, might be threatening. Uh, e4, bishop a6, which is something I just realized in case of uh, bishop b7 or bishop b4, maybe I can play e4 and just uh, attempt to win the queen. So e4, I mean you can take on c3, that doesn't matter. Uh, d takes e4, bishop a6, e takes f3. Bishop c8, queen c8. <sighs> Thinking I might even start with knight e5. Uh, there's also, yeah, like e4, d takes e4, knight e5. So like as well, it's like a5, g4, I think I'll go for it. I mean, okay, worst case scenario, there's e4, d takes e4, bishop a6, e takes f3, bishop takes e8, uh, rook takes e8, and I take on f3 or play even g4 for some activity. And then he has what two pieces for for the queen. Okay, in a longer game I might you know take more time here. But there's no increment and Yeah, we'll try to assess the position at the end. If his uh, piece activity is dangerous, but my intuition is telling me it isn't. He does have bishop a5 here <laughs> uh, on the last move, which I didn't realize. But okay, I might have been able to uh, survive there. Uh, should I play 95 first, bishop a5? No, then I can take 95. Let's say a5. Or a6 is probably stronger. g4, f6. Take this, yeah, yeah. So it might be even stronger. I, okay, I can win the queen, but maybe he gets some play because his pieces are active and uh, we'll have this pin. So maybe 95 is even stronger. Ninety-five. Now if bishop a5, I take with the bishop because my queen is protected. In case of f6, now maybe I play bishop a6, f e5, bishop takes, queen takes. 
There's also in case of f6, g4 takes, takes on f5. Hmm. Bishop a6 is, is of course the, uh, the easy move. Um, well, there's also bishop a6, takes, takes, rook takes. And queen b7, but unfortunately, yes, bishop takes c3, check. I take, and he castles. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 95 f6, bishop a6 must be a better version. Bishop a6 takes, takes, takes. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to go for this one. Probably just Bishop a6 was better. I don't know why I, uh, why I did that really. Did that to be honest. <sighs> Please, knight f6. Okay. But now I will play bishop a6. I will play bishop a6. I will just winning the queen. There's no e takes f3, stuff like that. Now it's just understandable, all of a sudden. Queen has no squares. And he's only getting a piece for the queen. Which is not enough. The pawns are unequal because I won the pawn on b7 and only gave back one pawn. <clears throat> if he takes on a6, I might be able to win the queen in a second way, like queen takes a6, then go queen takes a8. Because he only has king e7, but then I go knight c6 check. And he has nothing better than queen takes c6. Just to interpose stuff like knight b8. Uh, I'm gonna take here, king e7, even queen takes b4. Just to go back to e8, queen b8 again. So he decides here to castle. But... Uh, the main problem is there will be more stuff hanging. I take on d7, right? I uh, will do that. And yeah. Game over, Red Rover. Then on the next few moves, I, I can just castle. He doesn't have any uh, potential dangerous uh, peace activity. Here, I can probably take on f8. I'm 
Will just take on f8. He will take on c7 with the rook. I play queen a8. And on I take c3. Maybe I just take because I have a discovery. So we have to spend a move there. Let's just take this. Just grab all the material. Still have two rooks here. Sleeping in the corners. They're going to be ready to play in a minute. But why queen a8 when I can go queen e8? Um, it's a decent question, but um, I don't know. For some reason, I like it more here. I can't really find any logic as to why. Now, if he takes on f8, which he does, um, if we just quickly compare, I need to play faster now, but okay, I have plenty of time. We both have a rook and a knight, so I have a queen and a rook against two bishops. And basic math will suggest that that's a winning advantage for white. Looks like it is, man. Hmm. So six minutes left to my two and a half. I've only played a handful of games here in, in standard 19. I think I played four or five games, so I'm not sure what the high rating here is if it if it's slightly over 2000 or if it's 22 or 2300 yes we'll find out someday let's just uh get the queen home queen b8 rook has to move and i can maybe retreat here back here if i want to or need to but on the other hand, I probably don't have to. Also on b8, keep an eye on a7, so he can't play rook c8 to free his bishop. Then I take the pawn. So are we going to see a move? Victat 51. Right here, Vini. It's my uh, Komarov expression. I think I might do some videos. Yeah, I would like that now. One video as, as just play a Blitz game as Komarov. And then I could play one game maybe as Chess Explained. I could try for King Crusher and uh, and Chess Network, I guess. Not sure how I would do John. Yeah, maybe I'll do John. He's always really opt optimistic and positive. <laughs> um, yeah, Ginger GM. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, okay, but okay. Uh, maybe. So let's see, uh, our opponent taking an awful lot of time. Rook d7. Let's just uh, start pushing here. Note that, note that he can't play bishop d6 because the bishop is still pinned to his king. And yeah, yeah, I was wondering about the rating because this is well resignable for black. I mean, he has no counterplay. 
no past pawn, no peace activity, no prospects of anything really. Just wasting my time, wasting your time for an extra five, six minutes. Um, can also just go here, exchange some rooks. Why not? He's not gonna take, but I'm gonna pre move it anyway. Yeah, it's so winning. Like, if knight d7, I can even just take the rook. I would still have a winning material advantage. So, our opponent here making this video awfully long, but okay, it's a standard game. So, I mean, if you're watching it, hopefully you are serious about picking something up. From the master. I'll take here and on bishop c5, I will take on d7, neutralizing a x ray here. And actually, bishop c5, rook takes d4 might be even stronger because bishop takes rook takes d7. And he's gonna be in a pin. So basically, everything wins, and soon I will also be up on the clock, but he keeps playing for some weird reason. Yeah, this I never understood. Why waste your time? When you could be already analyzing your mistakes and getting ready for the next game, I mean, time is important, and why waste it on uh, such a stupid thing? But okay, um, we just have to finish the game here. We're just going to double on the 8th eighth, eighth rank and pick up this bishop. It's only defense against that is to play h6 and knight h7, but in that case, I simply queen my a pawn. Well, whichever pawn I want, actually. I think I'll go with the a pawn. He'll play e3, very predictable. <laughs> it's like when they start, it's uh, a desperation moves. Are always the same. You'll play it eventually. You'll see. You'll see. You play bishop somewhere. C5 probably. The safest option for me was to take an F8 to eliminate any counterplay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's not the most dangerous counterplay in the history of chess now, is it? Queen, oh, e3, he's gonna get a check, no! No! I'm gonna trick him, ah, we got mate here, we got mate, mate, mate g5, I'm gonna take here, and queen f8, mate, mate, mate of Slovakia, it's not mate, oh man, I'm uh, fucked up. <laughs> but I can fuck up a lot I'm part of my language I can even give up my queen if I want but now it's made um, so are you going to resign now? why play for extra 7-8 minutes and resign not allow me to mate okay at least he that's a decency to do to do to do to do to do to do that. So queen seven check mate check the lock yeah check yourself. Uh rematch no thanks. Um yeah. I think I'll end the video. Uh I might come back with a post mortem, but if not then thanks for watching. But let's see.